This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar, taking a look at how to do green screen keys inside Adobe Premiere Pro and Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to do a two color key inside Premiere. Let's just do one more thing before we wrap up. This is kind of neat. Here's an effect where we start with a nice marble surface and it does a page peel to a, green, uh, to a blue and a page peel to a green. Wouldn't it be cool if I could have it reveal first one video under here and then a second video under here? Now the green is computer generated, which is why it's so perfect, and the blue is computer generated, which is why it's so perfect, but that doesn't mean that we can't create a really nice little effect. So let's see how to do that. Because I have two different backgrounds, one for blue and one for green, I've got a blue background and a green background. So let's select our clip. By the way, if you're having trouble, like here, and see how we've got the green leaking through? If you absolutely positively have to work with that shot because it's the only thing that you've got, then make sure there's plenty of green in the background that you're inserting, and that way the green that bleeds through from the screen combines with the green that's in the background and nobody is going to notice. So you wouldn't want to use a light pink behind this because that's just, that's a, it says I'm a train wreck. So select our clip. Ultra key, which is now our friend. Select this. We've already known to go to our key color. Click there, and, well, it's not bad. Let's just take a look at it real quick. Alpha channel. Perfect. We're getting that drop shadow right in there. Opaque, etc., uh, etc. Et that was just the easiest key in the world. Play it. Peels back. Ta-da! Okay, so how do we do that? Well, if... If I were to click the eyedropper tool, select the green, I'd lose the key on the blue. So I, I can only, the ultra key only supports one color at a time. So instead what we're going to do is take advantage of what Premiere calls a subsequence. I'm going to select these two clips that are my key and go to, under sequence it says make subsequence. Final Cut 7 calls it a nest. Avid calls it a subsequence. Final Cut Pro 10 calls it a compound clip. We're going to make a subsequence. Let's go back to, uh, there it is right there. There's our subsequence. So I'm going to grab the subsequence and drag it right on top here. And I'm going to delete these two clips. So there's our subsequence. If I double click it, I'd see the two clips inside. And we see that it's retaining the chroma key of the blue. Now we'll go find the green, select the subsequence, go back to the effects tab, go to keying, there it is, ultra key, and I put the key on the subsequence. With the subsequence selected, select the key color, click here, and now, ta da! And if I ever catch you using a page peel in public, I will personally humiliate you. But does the effect work? Yes. And we're able to retain that shadow that we saw that I generated when I created the page peel. Which means you could, if you want, create a third one. So I've got a blue background, a green background, and a red background, and have it wipe from one to another to another shot as part of the chroma key. I can't think of a reason why you would want to, but could you? Absolutely. Using subsequences, there's no real limit to how many levels deep you can create your key. This is a really cool effect. What we're seeing is that whether we work with perfect backgrounds or we work with much more challenging backgrounds, the keying technology that's built into Premiere allows us to do all kinds of wonderful things. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar, taking a look at how to do green screen keys inside Adobe Premiere Pro and Apple Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com store and look for Webinar 240. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, a membership to our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours, all in-depth and all easy to view. Plus, premium members can now access sample media and projects. 
Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it several times a month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.